Are you smarter than a professor? Hello, everyone, and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Professor? The game show where students and professors duke it out in an epic battle of the minds to see who is smart. But before we get started, let's take a look at the rules. The rules. A team of two professors and two students will compete in two rounds. Teams will play a quick game of rock, paper, scissors. The victorious team decides whether they start first in round one or round two. Round one consists of 25 toss-up questions divided in the categories of science, English, social studies, current events, and pop culture. Teams will alternate choosing the category for each question based on who gets it right. However, any team may buzz in with an answer at any time during the question. If the first team guesses right, they get 10 points. If incorrect, the other team gets a chance to answer. Round two consists of two individual bonus rounds. One member from each team is chosen and given a category. Each member gets their own individual prompt and must name as many things as possible that go along with it in only five seconds by themselves. Each answer that is on our list is worth 10 points. Both people will do this. However, only the person with the most correct answers on the list in the round takes home the points, unless a tie occurs. In the result of a tie, both teams take home the points. All right, and we're back. Now let's introduce our contestants. Students, tell us a little about yourselves. Hey everyone, my name is Rachel. I'm a sophomore here at Hilbert. I am a forensic lab major, and I'm stoked to be here. We're gonna do awesome today. Hi, I'm Elliot Klein. I am a senior here at Hilbert College. I am studying cybersecurity, my major with a minor in digital media, and it's very great to be here today. Professors, tell us a little bit about what you do. Yeah, my name is Kira Bush Turner. I am your Ms. Worldwide in charge of all our international things here, and I'm ready to beat you. Oh. <laughs> it's tough to follow up. My name is Alex Gill. I'm the director of student involvement. I also teach our Blue 101 Foundation Seminar course, as well as GS 201 uh, Service Learning and Civic Engagement. And like Kira said, I'm ready to beat our students here today. Yeah. I don't think so, but all right. <laughs> all righty, let's get started then. So people on the inside, Elliot and Kira, please play a quick game of rock, paper, scissors. And whoever wins gets to choose whether they start first in round one or round two. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, students, would you like to go first in round one or round two? We've decided to start to uh, to go first in round one. Round one, okay, let's get started then. So students, what category would you like? Pop culture uh, for 10. Pop culture, alrighty. So again, anyone can buzz in at any time. Let's do this. As of 2023, who is the most subscribed <laughs> students? T-Series? That is incorrect. Mr. Beast? Mr. Beast is correct. <laughs> Professor, you get 10 points. <laughs> Alrighty. Professors, you got the question right. You get to choose the next category. What would you like? English. English. Okay. Which book from Ray Bradbury is banned in selective For professors? Fahrenheit 451. That is correct. <laughs> Professors, you get the points. You also get to choose the next category. Oh, mm -hmm. current events. Current events. What was the most recent country to join NATO in April 2023? Any guesses? You can buzz in and guess. 
You cannot lose any points in this game show. Any guesses at all? Uh, hungry. That is incorrect. Students. Saudi Arabia. That is incorrect. No one gets the points there. The answer oh. is <laughs> Finland. <laughs> Alrighty. Students, we're going to go to you. What category would you like? Uh, science for 10. Science for 10. What group of elements separates metals from non-metals on the students? Uh, metalloids. Metalloids is correct, or semi-metals. Whichever one heard to call it. Students, what category? Science. Science. Keeping it strong. What is exobiology the study of? <laughs> Students. The study of uh, living beings uh, in the outer world, like, like, the big, uh, like, the study of living beings in uh, the big world as, as opposed to uh, small uh, beings in the smaller world. I will take that. Life in outer space. You said living beings. That's still technically the same thing. I will take it. <laughs> All right, students. What category? Science. Science. Okay. What is the term where unused synapses are cut from the brain during adolescence, resulting in the loss of memories? <laughs> Yes. Long-term memory loss. That is incorrect. <laughs> Any guesses? No, okay. The answer is synoptic pruning. That yeah, sounds terrifying. <laughs> I'm just thinking of prunes. All right, yeah. professors, what category? Pop culture. What was the first toy to be advertised on TV? <laughs> Professors. Just no. Tinker Students. Tinker toys. Tinker toys. No. Oh, the good. answer is Mr. Uh, Potato no. Head. No. <laughs> Bro, mm. No way. I don't accept Students, that. Students, <laughs> it is back to you. Pop culture. Pop culture. Yeah. Knocking this category out. What movie in 2019 topped Avatar as the highest? Student? Avengers Endgame. That is correct. Let's go. <laughs> Students are in the lead. What category would you like? Pop culture. Pop culture again. What singer holds the record for most Grammy nominations? <laughs> oh, that was... <laughs> I think I'm supposed to yeah. <laughs> I think the students were a little bit quicker. Uh, Adele? That is incorrect. Professors. Why should we say country artist or something? <laughs> Michael Jackson? That is incorrect. Oh. It is oh, Beyonce. Yeah. Beyonce. Oh, she liked it. She I put mean, a ring on it, honey. <laughs> Alrighty. What category would you like? Social studies? Yeah. Sure. Social yeah. studies. <laughs> Name one American president who is from Buffalo. <laughs> Students. William McKinley. That is incorrect. Taft? Taft. That is incorrect. <laughs> the answer is Millard Fillmore in Grover, Cleveland. From Buffalo. Huh. Okay. Students. What category would you like? Pop culture. Let's pop end culture. It. You last of the pop culture. What is the most watched YouTube video of all time? Most watched YouTube video. How could it be? We all watch YouTube. Hmm. 
Any guesses? Again, you cannot lose any points. Maybe it equates. I don't know. Students. Baby by Justin Bieber. That is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of the name of this video, but so Oh, Llamas with Pets? Llamas with Pets. Hmm. That is incorrect. The answer, which is a video you've probably all seen before, Baby Shark oh Dance. Oh my god. Oh. Have to look up the, uh, That's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> that. Which category would you like? Um, let's do English. English. Let's start out the English. What is Dr. Seuss's most sold book? <laughs> Students. The Cat in the Hat. That is incorrect. Professors. Three eggs and ham. You did not buzz in, but I will Where give you it. Oh. We did it at like the same yeah, time. Yeah. I see, I see. Yes. <laughs> Three eggs and ham is correct. Yo. Okay, okay. All righty. Sure, English. English, once again. What is the word for a term or phrase that means the opposite of its literal meaning? Antonym. That is incorrect. Professors. Oxymoron? No. That is Wait, correct. No. <laughs> that is correct. Shot in the dark. Oh. Well. It came out well. Okay, Professors. Okay. English. English again, <laughs> feeling confident in the category. Let's see <laughs> what's next. The poem Still I Rise was written by what American professors? Maya Angelou? That is correct. Oh my gosh. <laughs> professors. Getting a bit of a stronger lead here. What <laughs> would you like? Just finish the category? Sure. Okay, finishing the category. The final English question. What book published by O.J. Simpson came under scrutiny? Professors. If I did it. That is correct. <laughs> Professors, on a roll right now. What would you like? <laughs> we gotta... English um, is finished. Should we do current events? Yeah. Current events, Art. okay. In the first week of June, noxious smoke enveloped much of the eastern U.S. Professors. The Canadian wildfires? That is correct. Students falling a wee bit behind oh, you. Gotta bring it back. Professors. <laughs> Let's do current events. Current events once again. Over the summer, there is a massive search for a lost submarine owned by Ocean Gate with five students. The Titan. The Titan is correct. Let's the go. students coming back. back with a haymaker. Can they keep this up to overtake the professor? What category would you like? Um, let's say current events. Current events. The search for what mythic creature was launched in northern Scotland? Professors. The Loch Ness Monster? That is correct. Makes sense. <laughs> no. I was like, wait, is it a that. trick? <laughs> Professors. Uh, let's just, you know, finish it off. Current events? Okay. In early August, devastating fires spread across the state of Hawaii, forcing thousands Maui? That is correct. Let's Dude, go. total shot in the dark. That is oh. correct. <laughs> Students, what would you like? Social studies. Social studies. The Statue of Liberty was a gift. France. That is correct. <laughs> Students <laughs> catching <laughs> up. Can they keep this up? Social studies. Social oh, studies oh. once again. What nation celebrates its Declaration of Independence from Spain? The Philippines? That is correct. Oh, what? Okay, honestly, <laughs> students catching dark. up. What would you like? Social yeah, studies. Social yeah. studies. What was the name of the ancient trade route that connected the East? The Silk Road. That is correct. <laughs> Professors maintaining their lead. Uh, social studies? Okay. Which US... Oh. Oh. Was Students. Thomas Jefferson. That is Florida correct. Morning. That was a fast one. Okay. 
Neck and neck right here. Science. Science. Who is the father of the atomic students? Robert Oppenheimer. That is correct. <laughs> students and professors. It is tied up right now with one question left in the first round. Students, you only have one option. So let's see what the final question of round one is. What is the highest rating on the Richter scale? <laughs> students. 8.7. That is incorrect. 10. Professors? That is technically correct. Oh, Anything okay. over nine. <laughs> Wait, what? That would mean 10. <laughs> that so is good. correct. Wow. Okay, we are here. The students <laughs> and <laughs> professors. <laughs> professors only a little bit ahead of the students. The students still have any chance in the world to come back right now in round two. So let's get into round two right after these messages. And we're back, on to round two. So, since students elected to go first in the first round, professors, you will be going first this round. So, Kira, your question for this round. Name the U.S. states that start with the letter A. Your timer starts now. Alabama, Arkansas, Alaska, and Arizona. Okay. Four correct answers. You got everything on the list. That is 40 points. Elliot, you will be given the next question, also in the category of U.S. geography. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be, I guess. Okay. Name the U.S. states that start with the letter W. Your timer starts now. Wisconsin, Wyoming, Timer has ended. So, since professors got more correct, professors get the points here. So you get 40 points. Now on to the second round. It is still up for grabs. It's going to be very difficult, but students, it is still possible. Alrighty. So students, you will be going first this time. The category is English. So, Rachel, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Name plays by Shakespeare. Your timer starts now. Uh, Taming of the Shrew, King Lear, Julius Caesar. <laughs> All righty. Two of those were on our list. That is 20 points right there. All righty. Professors, Alex, are you ready? Be. <laughs> okay, so your prompt is to name poems by Edgar Allan Poe. Your timer starts now. <laughs> I can't think of the names. Okay. <laughs> wrong. No, unfortunately <laughs> not. So, students, you take home the points. However, it was only 20 points. And that is our final scores, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Thank you for <laughs> tuning in to Are You Smarter Than a Professor? Now let's go to the post-game interviews. All right, it is time to interview our contestants. Students, what do you think you could have done better to win? Definitely not choked on the lightning round, but it's all good. <laughs> Definitely could have gotten a better teammate. Oh, shots fired. <laughs> okay, professors, what do you think you did well in order to win this game show? A lot of crossword puzzles. <laughs> mm. Pure carry, I'm not gonna lie. I have to read some more after all, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Well, by the way, it's uh, it's pronounced Edgar, not Edgar. <laughs> ah, I see. Well, that about does it for today. And in conclusion, these students are not smarter than the professors. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.
We're dumb. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. <laughs> it's close. It's close to you. Gotta watch more YouTube apparently. Too. No, I don't <laughs> <know>. <laughs> <laughs>